Ooh, Carly, I'm going to have to think about mine. All right. Well, as Americans celebrate our nation's birthday, the city of Orlando is apologizing after facing backlash over a controversial post about its own fireworks display. The original statement claimed in part, quote, a lot of people probably don't want to celebrate our nation right now, and we can't blame them. <laughs> Here to react, Florida GOP Congressman and National Guard Colonel Michael Waltz. Um, Congressman, what do you make of that? Not very patriotic. Well, you know, the city officials of Orlando immediately backtracked because the freedom-loving people of Florida rose up and said, hell yeah, we want to celebrate uh, the 4th of July. We love America and happy birthday, America. So, yeah, but you know, Rachel, it just shows a level of cynicism uh, that we see in so many of our elected officials and a lack of perspective. Uh, I would love to take uh, whoever wrote that in Orlando, I would love to take them with me back to Afghanistan, mm -hmm. where women can't even leave their house uh, anymore, over to Hong Kong, where people are disappearing in the middle of the night if they dare to criticize uh, the Chinese Communist Party. It just shows a total lack of perspective of how great we have it here. We may not be perfect, but we work things out uh, through our elections and our courts, through debate, uh, and, and we're always seeking to improve. Uh, I'm glad they backtracked. I'm glad they apologized. Uh, but, it, you know, enough, it's, uh, enough of this kind of, of nonsense about uh, our great nation. Yeah, I always consider it such a blessing, not just that I grew up in a, in a family that served in the military, but that I got to live in so many third world countries um, and, and, and other even European countries and see how they lived. And I always um, was so grateful to be an American, I think, because I had that perspective. And you're right. Maybe we should give them a trip to Hong Kong or Cuba or Venezuela or somewhere else, and they maybe come back a little more grateful. Here's, by the way, what the city of Orlando uh, had to say after they backtracked. They said, we understand these words offended some of our residents, which was not our intent. We value the freedoms we have in this country, and we are thankful to the men and women who have fought and continue to fight for those. We take pride in celebrating the 4th of July to express our gratitude to those men and women and honor the country we live in. Um, also, just a misunderstanding of our history. We have so much to be proud of, Congressman. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. In, in, in 1776, mm. you know, the entire span of history before then, the world was led by kings, queens, and emperors. They decided what rights you had, who you married, where you lived, uh, what your occupation was, and our founders turned that on its head. Uh, they said, no, we are given God-given rights, we the people, and we decide what the government can and can't do. And that was a seismic shift uh, in history that has led to an explosion of freedom and democracy all over the world. Never perfect, always seeking to improve, and we still have a long way to go. But uh, we have to appreciate how brave those men were that signed that document. They were mm. literally hunted down for signing it. And then, you know, where that has set the world uh, in terms of its history and freedom and individual liberties. Uh, but it's not being taught now in our schools, not nearly enough, Rachel. Uh, that's why I want to get us back to civics. Ron DeSantis has yes. put it in our Florida schools. I have a bill to put it in national schools to, to teach civics uh, in the way that it should be taught and get us back to national service. I guarantee you, you're out serving, as you and I have, in those third world countries like so many veterans, you'll be kissing the ground uh, that, <laughs> that we walk on when we land and get back to the United States of America. Amen, Congressman. Florida is leading the way with those civics classes. Also, honor, uh, having a, a national uh, remembering the victims of Communism Day, um, just really right. making sure that students, uh, especially our young people, understand a true history of, of America and also the history of communism and socialism. Uh, Congressman, then, thank you so much for joining me and a very, very happy Fourth of July to you and your family. Yeah, happy 4th, Rachel. We have so much to be grateful for, sure, and that's yeah. my message to all Americans. Be grateful. Be grateful that we are so blessed to wake up breathing free air in a free nation, and, and God bless uh, this great nation. Yep, and thanks to people like you who served um, our country. Thank you, Congressman. All right, thanks. Okay.